Well, there it is. It's the 2011 Jayco J Flight Model 23FB. And we've had this travel trailer since 2016. We bought it used. And uh, since then, I've done a few modifications. One is I put this uh, power jack, I guess you'd call it, on the front, which is a great invention. Whoever de designed that deserves an award. Um, so from the outside, let's see what we got here. This is a pass-through storage. Goes all the way through. And I got it pretty well filled up with stuff. Pretty roomy though. Um, it's got the shaded windows, tinted windows. And in the back there's another cargo hold and I use this to store my tools. Got some gloves, spare gas tank, flares, fire extinguisher, and also the sewer hose. And that's because that's really close to the sewer outlet. It has a gray tank and a black tank. Um, I just put brand new tires on it. So that's a definite plus. And I went with the Goodyear Endurance, which is a definite upgrade from the stock tires. Um, you can really tell it driving down the road too. Um, on the back here we have a exterior shower box and the other side here what do we got oh this is where the uh, the outside barbecue grill hangs on that little bracket and then down below there's an outlet for propane and I store that I store the barbecue in this side as well as some other stuff. Um, I have some lawn chairs in there too. It's pretty roomy inside there. I also put on this exterior grab bar which makes it really nice just entering the cabin here. Um, let me show you the inside. So first of all, I don't know if I said it, but it has a, a power awning. So basically, it lowers, lowers or raises the awning. And that makes a big difference as far as keeping the inside of this camper cool. And also keeping the front part of it dry. So entering into the trailer uh, enters right into the living area. There's a kitchen and dinette to the left and to the right is the bedroom and it's a walk around queen size bed and it's actually pretty roomy <laughs> uh, for getting around. So here's the wardrobe, and on the left side, I raised the closet rod up a little bit because uh, I don't know why, but they had it like about a 10 inches lower than what it is. But by raising it up, I was able to put in this shelf here, and then also put in this divider. I think we got this from IKEA, but it fits perfectly. And um, up on top, we've got storage for bedding, pillows, what have you. And then on the other side I did a similar thing. I raised the curtain rod all the way to the top or the clothes rod all the way to the top and then my wife put in this divider for her and then down below same thing. Shelf and a divider. And up on top pillows, blankets, what have you. And let's see here. It does have a TV in the master bedroom. And I added the uh, rope hooks up there. 
um, has a vent through here and oh yeah underneath the bed this bed lifts up and it has massive amounts of storage I think we keep our our cover for when we cover the trailer in the winter time and it has some life vests and some other stuff that we don't use too much so here we have also a privacy curtain for the bedroom and uh, I also put up some coat hooks here which is really handy and entering into the living space we have a jackknife couch which folds out into a bed which is really comfortable actually and I also put this folding table which folds down uh, great for because we I think we keep our toaster on there when we make breakfast um, up here there's plenty of storage and let's see I put that extra shelf up there and then these have extra storage up there just tons of storage actually I got more storage than you know what to do with and above the microwave they had a panel here and so it was kind of like wasted space so I took the panel out and I put a shelf in there and it's actually removable if you need to but we keep our trays and baskets up there okay over here we have the uh, the Norcold refrigerator freezer unit and it is very roomy for an RV um, so what I do normally if if I don't have a chance to start the fridge if we're it's a spur of the moment thing what I do to cool it down real fast is I put a bag of ice up on top and in this little drawer down here I put a bag of ice and then I turn the then I turn the uh, the uh, fridge on and it has automatic or gas so what that does it'll choose the most economical way to operate um, so if there's no power plugged in it'll it'll operate off of gas if you have the gas turned on and it works pretty good and then down here we have storage for pots and pans So there's also a panel here that I removed and I also put in a soda can. So as far as uh, heating and cooling goes, this camper has a great air conditioner system. So what it does, it has these little louvers here which you can open or shut. If you open it, or if you shut them, then, um, then all the cold air will be circulated uh, through these vents and they've got these vents scattered throughout the RV so when you come in and, and you want to cool it down right away you just open all these vents and all the cold air will be uh, hitting the main living area and uh, to control that uh, I installed this digital thermostat and it works pretty good it has all the same uh, has all the same controls and features as the as the stock one except for it's digital instead of uh, mercury it's a great thermostat okay so through this door here is actually a very roomy restroom and uh, it's got its own tub shower and what I did here I took out the uh, the stock shower curtain and I put in this we have an articulated one so when you're taking a shower this will bump out and I'll give you all kinds of room and when you're done you just fold it back in and the water drains into the bottom of the tub um, has its own little lab here I also put on a um, new faucet it's a Simmons faucet so it's a let's let's it's like a commercial grade faucet and it I put a half a gallon per minute aerator in there to save water and to not fill in your tank fill up your tank so fast it's got a little uh, medicine cabinet there um, it's got a couple of towel bars here and more storage believe it or not 
amps, extra storage. This is the access to the water heater. And here is a huge wardrobe closet. And we have, we usually put our towels in here or, you know, whatever you need. Also keep some shop back stuff. And we did have another one of these over here, but we took it out. Uh, starting to wear out. Anyway, that's the, uh, the restroom. Oh, the toilet's really pretty good toilet in stock. And you can see it has a heat register on the floor. And there's another register here. And there should be one back here. It works really good too. So we really have enjoyed this travel trailer and kind of sad to, s to sell it but everything comes to an end. Anyway, thanks for watching.